today we are focusing on a single track, which is going to be the LT slash clay track. We're gonna go interview some of their staff members and campers and see what LT and clay is all about. Let's go. So please state your name. My name is Andrew Hyatt. And what do you do here at camp? Uh, this week at camp, I am working on clay staff. Please state your name for the viewers at home. Hi, my name is Charlie Roberts. And what do you do here at camp? I'm um, a member of the leadership curriculum team. Why is it called clay and what is it all about? Clay stands for Creative Leadership with Artistic Youth. And what we like to do is take a more creative approach to leadership where we encourage people to use their gifts and their abilities in a more kind of creative way to help lead people. So is that what LT stands for? Yeah, LT stands for Leadership Training. And what do you guys do throughout the week? We, um, we, we deal with what it means to be a Christian leader in the world no matter what your role. In other words, like it's not about training leaders to necessarily be people who lead in the church, although that could be part of it. But if you're a parent, if you're a firefighter, if you're a nurse, if you're a school teacher, what does it mean to be a leader who reflects your Christian beliefs and values in all of the things that you do as a leader? What does the clay track focus on throughout the week? The clay track specifically focuses on strictly creative ways to inspire people, motivate people, and lead other people. What would you want to tell the viewers at home uh, about the LT track, about what you guys do? Um, we, we began as a track trying to train youth to be counselors for the camp that we're a part of right now. And we quickly discovered that what we really needed to do was expand that base and to help them to think about being leaders in the world. We'll be doing some mock interviews later with the clay track who would you give your recommendation to for a future counselor position? Dan Getz is going to be a great counselor someday. You mentioned earlier that the LTs and Clay are training to be future counselors. Mm -hmm. um, regarding that aspect, we're going to be doing some mock interviews later. Yeah, yeah. Who would you give your recommendation to? Ooh, um, definitely Zach Hartman. Um, I think he's an, uh, an extraordinary young leader. Uh, Lizzie Grabinski. And um, another leader who has a different kind of set of leadership gifts um, is Maddie Spencer. How much uh, would a good recommendation cost? Oh, uh, definitely a good recommendation for counselor would probably be in the neighborhood of um, let's see, um, a bag of Twizzlers and or perhaps um, a couple of, uh, of uh, sweet teas. How much would you say a good counselor recommendation would cost? One slice of peanut butter pie. Please state your name for the viewers at home. I am Zach Hartman, LT. Please state your name. Lizzie Gerbinski. Uh, why would you make a good counselor candidate? I believe that I know what the people want. I can lead them to that end goal and we'll get there together. So and why would you make a good counselor candidate? Um, well, I really like camp and I think I have um, a good knowledge of Jesus and I could share that with everybody and I like hanging out with kids and stuff and I, I think I'd be a fun person and I'm responsible. How likely are you to lose a camper? Uh, I want to say like zero percent mm -hmm. but there's like a possibility but I don't feel like if I was a counselor I'd let that happen. So. If and when you lose your camper what are you saying to Cindy? I'm gonna make sure that it's very clear that it was the camper's fault I'm not at all responsible for that if they decide to wander off during any free time activities. What would you say your weaknesses are? Um, I procrastinate like a lot, like a lot, a lot. I pack probably 20 minutes before we left. 
What are your weaknesses? I cry a lot, um, oftentimes to bed. And last question, if your track were in the Hunger Games, who would be the victor and why? Without a doubt, Adam Fodness would be the victor because he goes hard at everything he does. If your track was in the Hunger Games, who would be the victor and why? I definitely want to be me, because I feel like I would try to help somebody, and then they would try and kill me. Um, uh, uh, I think Maggie. She's a little ruthless. She could, she could do it. Hi, what's your name? Enzi Madera. And what do you do here at camp? I am a sacristan, so before all of our worship services, I help set up our worship space by putting the sacraments on the table, and we set up the communion glasses and the bread plates um, and get it prepared for communion during the worship service. This has been Talking with Lindsay.